Welcome to the ESS Portal First Time Login Training. In this video, you will learn how to access the portal, log in, change your password, complete two-factor authentication, and view your check stubs. Section 1. Navigating to the Portal To access the portal, go to the Tempest Unlimited Pennsylvania website www.pa.tempestunlimited.org then select portals and then select ESS portal. You will now see the ESS landing page. There are three links on this page the training schedule, the instructions, and the portal. Click the link to the portal. On a computer the link will be on the right hand side of the page. If you're using a mobile device, it will appear at the bottom. Section 2. Logging in. Once you have clicked the link, you will be directed to the login screen. In the company box, choose Pennsylvania from the drop-down. For user type, the default is direct care worker. Your username is the six digits of your E number without the E. Your temporary password will be a combination of the last four digits of your social security number and your date of birth in month month, day day, year year, year year format. The total password will be 12 digits long and contain no dashes, slashes, or spaces. Once you've entered your temporary password, please click the login button. The system will now prompt you to change your temporary password to a permanent one. In the top box, enter your temporary password, which, as a reminder, is the last four digits of your social security number, followed by your date of birth. In the next box, type your new password. It must contain 12 to 24 characters and contain at least one uppercase letter, at least one lowercase letter, at least one number, and at least one special character. In the bottom box, Retype your new password to verify it, then click the Change Password button. You should now see a confirmation screen stating that your password was successfully changed. Click Continue. You will be brought back to the login screen where you will log in again using your new password. Section 3, Dual Factor Authentication. Once logged in, you will see the two-factor authentication screen. There are two ways to authenticate for the first time. Which method you use depends on the number of devices you are using. Both methods require you to download an app, Google Authenticator, from whichever app store you use. This app can only be downloaded to a mobile device. Please be careful that you download the correct one, as many of them are similarly named. The icon for Google Authenticator has a white background with a gray G in the center. The first method I will show you assumes you are using two devices, such as a computer and a cell phone, or a cell phone and a tablet. Once you have downloaded Google Authenticator, go ahead and open it. If this is the first time opening it, click Get Started, then choose Scan a QR Code. Hold your mobile device up to the QR code on the portal screen and the app will scan it. This makes the link between Google Authenticator and the portal. In Google Authenticator, you will now see an account name that starts with PA and ends with the six digits of your e-number. Beneath the account name, a six-digit code will be displayed. Enter those numbers into the authentication code box in the portal without any spaces and click Submit. The second method to authenticate should be used when you are using a single mobile device. When you get to the two-factor authentication setup page, there is a link below the QR code labeled Can't Scan QR Code. Click this and a 16-character setup key is displayed. Then open Google Authenticator, click Get Started, and then choose Enter a Setup Key. Google Authenticator will ask you to name the account. You can name it anything you like. 
For the key, enter the 16 character setup key displayed on the portal screen. You can copy and paste it if you wish. Leave the last setting in Google Authenticator set as time based and then click Add. Your account will now be set up and the six digit code will now appear under whatever name you gave to the account. Enter the code into the authentication code box in the portal and click Submit. Again, you can copy and paste the authentication code from Google Authenticator into the portal. A quick note about Google Authenticator. The code will change every 30 seconds. There is a time indicator to the right of the code. It starts as a full circle and gets smaller as time passes. The smaller the remaining section, the closer the code is to changing. Section 4. ESS Portal You are now logged into the portal. In the top left-hand corner, there are two boxes, Checks and W-2s. The system defaults to Checks. You will see each common law employer you work for listed. On the left-hand side of each is a drop-down arrow. If you click it, it displays all the individual check stubs that are available to view by check date. To see the detail, click the View Print button on the right side of that check date. A PDF image of the detailed check stub will be launched. Section 5 Future Logins After you have changed your password and set up Google Authenticator for the first time, you won't have to repeat those steps. The next time you log in, just open Google Authenticator and enter the six digit code into the authentication code box in the portal. Additional resources are available on our website at www.pa.tempestunlimited.org.